Hi Magis, what's up? Welcome to another video. <coughs> As you may know, I'm a sleight of hand artist from India and I <coughs> and I teach easy and high impact tricks. <gasps> Whoa, how did that get in there? Anyway, I can produce cards from my mouth, but in today's video, I'll teach you how to teleport a signed card to your mouth. <coughs> my name is DJ and i am your guide to street magic welcome back you can see that all the cards are different i'm going to dribble the cards like this and you can say stop whenever you want stop right there so remember your card it's the 10 of diamonds now I don't have a spectator here, so I'm going to put in the ten of diamonds here myself. But otherwise, I would get the spectator to put it in. I'm just going to give the deck some fancy shuffles, a few cuts, is this your card? This trick is super funny because the spectators can't believe how their card got into my mouth with them standing so close. They think I have incredible skill, but this is one of the easiest tricks you can do. But it does rely on misdirection and audience management. So you blatantly put their card into your mouth right in front of them. But there are some key instances of misdirection you need to use to do that. So. You just dribble the cards, the spectator says stop, you turn their card over, say it's the ace of diamonds. Now I'm going to teach you a move which is called the invisible pass. Basically, you take the right hand pile and just separate the bottom card with your middle finger. See, just separate it like that. What this does is, when you turn the ace of diamonds over back you're actually dropping the card here so like this you show the ace of diamonds and you turn it over and drop the card so the top card is not their card anymore you fan the cards out and you take this card which is not the spectator's card and put it into the fanned cards then you ask the spectator to push the card in and when they are doing that, that's a perfect moment for misdirection and you slide the actual card into your mouth. Hmm. So assume the ace of diamonds is in my mouth. They push the cards in, you take the fan pile and put it in the middle. Now you are standing around 2 feet away from the spectator, very close. The spectator's eyes are completely on the deck. That's your goal. So you should stand straight. Your head should be above their head. The ideal position is them sitting down and you standing. And so have the cards at waist height so that their eyesight is completely on the cards. And then you just give some fancy shuffles because why not show off? And when you think it's the perfect time, you just snap and just do this. They get confused, they don't understand what's happening and then you keep doing this and eventually they look up and see their card in your mouth. It's a very funny visual. It's the moment you all have been waiting for and the last week's winners are Daya Sharma and Ankita Taparia. Congratulations! Please message me your address on Facebook at the link below and I'll ship out the tricks immediately. And for those who didn't win, also message me on Facebook and I'll try to work something out. Now let's talk about this week's giveaway. To enter it, just subscribe to me, click the like button and comment below your favorite holiday destination. So it could be the beach, mountain, ski resort, whatever. To increase your chances of winning, 
also watch my next video on Wednesday. I'll be doing an interactive trick with the comments you make below. I'll announce the winner this Sunday. That's it for today Magis. Now go out, inspire and entertain. Magic 5